Hey guys, you watching this one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to the episode of Let's Build a City. We're just going to finish off this very quickly at the beginning of this episode. But I do like now how it's blow, ble, blowed, blended, <laughs> blended, blended into Grove Street that we've got here. The houses have actually sort of melted together really nicely and made uh, quite the estate. I also, I know we've got to do this one, but I forgot that I also planned this one as well. Look, we've got a road... Or a little sort of T-junction there. So it's going to be quite the large uh, estate. I'm really looking forward to how that's going to end up. Uh, and then we've got a few little spaces to fill in. Like I could fit in a couple of houses there as well. Maybe even a couple down there. I really like this whole area. I wasn't a huge fan when we first started. But I always keep that quiet. Because I know things always, always grow on me. Like I always think, oh no, this isn't going to work out. You guys aren't going to like it. Oh well, maybe if I don't say anything, you will. And it always does work out that way. It grows on me and it grows on you guys. I know some of you guys didn't like this when we first started it. And uh, boy, were we wrong. That's all I can say because it, it looks so cool now. So I'm just trying to do a little bit of a, a sort of burnt down tree there. Ready for the burnt down house that we do. Let's turn these shaders off as well. And I also, stay tuned because I need your help in a moment. After we've finished this off. I've, I need to, oh, that's a beautiful tree. Need your help with something. Let's put a tree in the communal garden. In there. Uh, I got two more. Oh, yeah, we've got a couple of spaces in here. Maybe we can have like a double tree going on in here. Ah, oh, lovely. Two different heights. I like that. One here. Yeah, beautiful. Any other space? If we go up into the sky, yeah, over there. You can always tell where. Uh, where you need one. <laughs> it's always the best best way to tell. Just by going up. Alright, it's definitely got more of a... See how it's blending in easier with each tree and stuff that we place? It just blends it in that little bit better. Okay, now that we've got the bone meal, we're going to go around all these back gardens. Because they're too lazy or they don't have enough money to sort of mow their lawn and stuff. So we have to bone meal that up. And get rid of this horrible plain grass feel. Oh, I'm stuck. Still stuck. And when you're from a little bit further away, it'll look pretty cool as well, sort of seeing them all. Now around here, I, I'm not going to do too much in this dead area. Sort of get around the back here. I'll do a little bit around the tree in the garden, but we'll do the garden in, in just a moment. It shouldn't be that difficult to do. Now you don't need to go, you don't need to like hit every single block. As long as you get a really good covering. We should be okay. Keep one down the back here. Whip it around the front. Oh, some of these need a little bit of driveway too, don't they? Forgot about that. Oops, probably not there. At least not on those bits. Okay, we'll get some gravel. Just so they have a little bit of a walkway to their front door. On that one. He can have a little thin one. This one can have one. Do we want them all to be gravel? It doesn't really matter. You, don't, you can't really tell to be fair. So you'll probably just get away with having all gravel ones. That one. Where's the door to this one? There. Oops. Plus gravel is just a nice easy block for us to work with here. Uh, I think I missed one yeah, in the door there. Although that's not important, it is just to me <laughs> having that bit. Um, I'll do sort of a broken one there to sort of remind me want to put some like maybe some um, burnt looking grass or something in the ground there to add into the path. We'll have sort of a wider one on that one. That there. Oops. Burn meal that up. beautiful and there's just a few houses down here left isn't it oh no all done so there's all the driveways in as well uh, a little bit of bone meal needed there okay how are we looking let's just back off for a moment I like it it's a shame that we haven't done that one yet we will do that eventually so for this little communal garden what I'm thinking 
is I'm going to do it in the same way as they do on Sims, like we said last episode. So we'll need some water, and I'll need a hoe because I want it to be like a like a little farm, sort of going on, but more of a sort of communal one. So we want to have something like that and that, and then that that that. Now, how far does that travel? Will it do that? I think it will just be neat if we had something like that. That and that. And then we'll have a couple of these ones. Yeah? Do you know what I mean? A little bit of bone meal down the side. Not quite on there. We'll put a little bit of a path down in a minute. Bone meal up around the edge because nobody's going to go there. And then, I don't know, we want definitely pumpkins and melons are like the two sort of ones that are really going to work. Or we could probably even use these instead of farmland on some of them. Like over here, maybe we don't need all of these. Uh, I don't know what the easiest way to do that is. To get rid of this, probably like that. Because I think these flowers almost look like little bushes and stuff sometimes. So we could do something like... Like that, and then have this, oops, that one, like little tomatoes or something. Uh, what was the other? This one. Yeah, that's really cool. That's proper gardeny feeling. Uh, this one, though, I definitely want to have pumpkins. Um, seed. Pu pumpkin. Yeah, pumpkins more than melons, I think. So I want to do that. I then want to bone meal them so they look fully grown and then if we get the pumpkins oh no our pumpkins are helmets um i suppose i could use like red sand or something then i forgot about that are melons still melons in this they are do we use melons then they're not going to join up though are they because they're not melons all right, hold on. Uh, melon. Seeds. And I saw I broke that. Oh, melon, 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 melon. Yeah, see how they just join up straight away then? And then in these bits, I don't know what have we got. Uh, carrots and potatoes. Carrot. Potato. Like that one and that one. Just sort of help them out a little bit. <laughs> there we go. I don't really want to do that. Okay, uh, and then what we'll do is we'll just put like a bit of a broken path with pods all through, I think. So we'll sort of just stagger it and sort of mix it in with the grass in a few sort of different directions like try and help people sort of walk down them and then this way is the other main way that goes over to this exit and down here to that one you see Ta-da! once that turns to grass underneath those plants that'll look a little bit better uh, but yeah i'm happy with that you know i think that's cool little community garden in the background is very suitable uh to the area very much like sims now isn't it the early sort of houses on sims now on to what we're doing today today isn't going to be that hard of an episode it's just a bit of a sort of a clean up a little housekeeping episode but on the way over here over to where we're going I need to ask for some help, actually, some sort of ideas. I need you to get your thinking cap on, because I've got this. Now, this area isn't too much of a problem, because it's, it's a little bit open. I can definitely build something in there. Now, under here is a little bit tricky. Again, I've got a little bit of a, a sort of space here. I could maybe do a sort of a thinner building there or something like that. I definitely want more industrial buildings. You know, we've got the two factories there and the cargo port. I want to do something under here, 
because it's so big because it's like the main uh, elevated sort of motorway area. I want to have something under here that's sort of factory like but has to be very low because of the the uh, motorway that we have above it. In this spot I can definitely fit some kind of, it has to be relatively thin but it's not too bad of a size. But a factory like these down there. But then underneath this area, what do we do? Because I've got the slip roads here, which actually take up more room than you think. Obviously, I've got to have like car parking for uh, getting onto the uh, elevated railway. But there needs to be something. Surely there's some idea that you guys must have of what to put under here. Do we just put more low, small houses? Do we do, oh, I'll tell you another thing that we need to do is actually the entrance to the subways. We haven't actually, we've got that one hole for the original sub, subway entrance, but the subway's done. Um, or at least the route's done. Uh, we need to actually get the, I, I totally forgot about the subway. Anyway, I need to, you guys to, to think of something to go in here. These thin spots might have to just be car parking spots or lines of trees or something decorative. If you guys could think of anything more creative than a line of trees or a car park, then please let me know. I'll be, I'll be, I'm looking forward to hearing and seeing your suggestions. Uh, you know, same as under here. It's very hard for me to think of these kind of space fillers. These aren't too bad because we've got a little bit of air above it. I can get buildings to go up and poke their head just a little bit above and stuff like that. Really cool. Also, I love how the the railway is a few blocks above the motorway. It gives you a, a real nice sort of elevated sort of up and down feel anyway today i want to tidy up around here we've tidied up around most of these skyscrapers but around here still hasn't been done and it, it needs to be now so what i want to do is get a row of trees that goes all the way down there like every few blocks uh, a row of trees now i think what we're going to do is we're just going to make our favorite or my favorite i don't know if it's your favorite my favorite little custom tree four blocks and then you come out two on each side. I'll do a very quick tutorial on two on each side. Fill in the corner three. So you just leaves you with one space in the corner there. Go around the top. Uh, you know what? On this one, we'll fill them in again. So we'll do two layers of that. Make it a little bit taller because we've got the room for it. Fill in the middle ones. Oops. And the center three by three. Go up again. Put across. And then one on top. Ta-da! They're very, they're very, very, very easy to do. But they're just really nice, really nice ones. Okay, that one and... Oops. Ugh! That one. We stand on here. Copy. Paste. And then there is a... Oh, I should really come back one. There's a cool little trick that you can do to make sure it's... So you don't have to worry about, um, like, pasting over it like I just did then. What you can do is you can select this tree and your second tree. So if you've got two, you can do this. So you get that one and that one. Ah, poop. That one and this one. And then if you copy on this, on the original tree, and you paste at this tree, you'll always get the right amount of gap between the two. So you don't need to think about where you need to stand next. It'll just paste it exactly one block away from the next tree, which is very, very smart, very, very easy. You don't need to worry about it then, as long as I can actually paste every time. There we go. Paste, 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 paste. Okay, that'll do to there. Then what I want to do is have um, some sort of neutral-ish block. This one will do. To go around these. There's no fast way to do this, really. So we're going to go, there must be a faster way. And you just get the angle right. There we go. That's a bit better. Ugh. So I'm trying to make like a, a mini garden. Or, or like a grass area in the middle. So this is going to go around there. And the front shouldn't be as bad. 
I could world edit the throne, just go click and click, but it doesn't doesn't matter too much. It's not far. And once we've got this in, we just spam inside the middle there with bone meal in the spots that we can sort of reach. And uh, it just lines the edge a bit nicer. Bone meal. Boom. 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 Doesn't really matter if you miss some. Just where you can get them. There, there, and there. Very nice. Look how neat that is. Hey? Very nice and neat down there. Uh, around this side, I think what we're going to do is actually have to fill in all of this around the edge unless i drop it down by a block if we do something like there to over here i'll probably end up going further but set one one two if we do it like that i can then still place um well trees and benches and stuff like that make this get some benches uh what are they called sofa couch i know it's a word that they <laughs> or synonym for bench can you can you put these on corners no you can't can you invertly corner them no okay interesting i would never tried it before so if we have something like oh i really like the idea of doing that with a tree in the middle don't you like if we had like a tree if i had a tree there four blocks Again, I'll do it the same. I'll do the same tree as I done on the last one. Just won't talk about how to build it this time. Pretty sure you guys can follow along with this anyway. It's not exactly a difficult custom tree. Uh, that one, that one, that one, that one. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. And then if we do a little one like this that that get the grass i'll do it underneath the tree too so it doesn't drive you guys too crazy i could have left it and been really mean and there and then bench 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 and then table what do you guys think of that a bit of bone meal in the middle there. Not that anyone will ever notice. But it's in there. It does actually make a difference. I really like that. I don't think I'll put one on the other side. I think I just like it on this side. Uh, we'll just place a couple more benches down around here. So try and keep them symmetrical. We'll have a 4-1 there. And that should mean that we should have a 4-1 here as well. Now I think, I don't know, we don't have an entrance into this from what I remember. <laughs> There's no entrance into that one. Is that a hole there? No, it's the uh, funny way how glass acts against um, glass acts against ice. Okay, uh, what do we do down here? Like empty space down. Do I put more trees that down? That's the sort of feel that I want out of this area. Maybe we go with the palm trees. Like a couple of palm trees down there. Would they fit in? Let's give it a go. Let's try and nab one. What's going to be the easiest way to nab a palm tree? Um, like that. Two. There. And then if I stand right there i copy i can come over there place down a log and paste should be should be <laughs> we can go like that it's going to go that way and then i go uh stand over here no i stand here Ta -da. it does fit cool so then i'll do another one in line back a little bit paste yeah a couple of little palm trees a little bit more inner city i like that gives a little bit of different trees on there as well 
Uh, what about like a little water, or like a longer water feature, maybe filling up this area? Like if we uh, get rid of this, we go from there. Because it's all going to be stone anyway. It's all going to be sort of a communal walkway, isn't it? Let's just go to there for the moment. Set one, one, two. If we go with like some sort of quartzy white block, uh, maybe like a chiseled one or something like that, make it look a bit neater, a bit more fancy. Something like that. And then, I don't know, maybe a lapis or something in the bottom here. A lapis? Oh, no, I can't use lapis because it's a different uh, texture pack. Let's use, oh yeah, light blue. That sounds good. That sounds very nice. Back there like that. Yeah, those two colours go really, really well together. And then if we use the pillar ones. I didn't get it. Pillar ones? What are these? Oh, light pillars, yeah. And we go something like that one and that one. Maybe if I made it one block longer, it would actually work really, really well. Let's go one block longer here. Grab that back again. And then get some water. Fill up the bottom here. We good? We full? Yep. And then bloop, bloop. That's nice and neat, isn't it? Hey? Very, very fancy looking. Might even uh, stairs. If we done something like... Ooh. No, don't wash nothing away. There, there. And, I don't know, that one, that one, and that one. Hey, what do you think of that? That one, that one, that one. That one, that one. That one, that one, that one. That one, that one. That one, that one, that one. Oh, that looks neat as... Yes! Okay, so that's filled up the surrounding of that skyscraper nicely. See how it gets rid of the green? It just looks more part of the city now. Just straight look at the difference between that and that. Okay, now, underneath here, I want trees. You know how we've got this going down the middle? I want trees then going down the middle of there and there. Let's, let's make it all the right ground texture first, shall we? Like, I don't know, if we go from way over here, like in that corner, and I go way up here. There. That'll do for the moment. Replace grass instead of set this time, because uh, if we do s grass, uh, we've one, one, two. If we do set, it's going to change all the road and everything up, so I don't really want to have to go through that hassle there and i'll just go behind the back here okay yes it just already, it already looks neat just doing that uh but yeah i want to have, have trees going down the middle of those with benches on either side of the tree so it's sort of going to double 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 uh sort of thing uh i'm gonna have to build another tree aren't i let's build another tree uh <laughs> i start up this end so i know how far i need to come down so this one won't have any surround on the trees, though. It'll just be uh, benches around them. Let's go a little bit different with this one. Let's go still with the two to start with. And still with this to start with, because it just gives us a, a, a nice sort of canopy underneath the tree. Uh, but now instead, we'll just go one up. So these will be a little bit sort of short. That they'll curve in a little bit quicker. And then we'll just do that. But then on here, we'll do two crosses instead of one cross. Put that in there. So it makes it a little bit sort of more taller, uh, piney almost like. And then we'll grab that one. And we'll grab that one. And I'm going to stand here. And I'm going to be really clever with this. I'm going to stand there. And that's going to be one, two, three, four blocks in. One, two, three, four. P 
paste. And then if I go over here and I take that one, I should be able to then copy. I don't really know how far down I want to go, so let's just go to here. It'll paste behind me, hopefully. Yes, I like three blocks. In, is that three or two blocks in between? Two blocks. In, I'll go with two blocks in between on these ones. They're a little bit taller. And then if I now go from that one to this one, I can do the trick that I showed you earlier. So we go there. I can then come over to this tree. I can then uh, copy. Oh no! It prob. Oh no! It might work. I might get that post in. I can't, I don't know. Paste minus A. Doesn't look like I do. Excellent. So now I can just run down here. And it's pasting both of them at the same time. Excellent. So we've got the trees going all the way down there. And then we get the benches, which I've already got on me. And I want to go, I think, against the tree. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So this is like, um, I, I when I built this, I always imagined it like uh, the main walkthrough area for office people. Sort of blue, are they blue collar people, do you call them? Uh, people that work in offices. This is where they sort of come down for lunch. It's underneath the bridge, so it's really cool. It's got the uh, breeze sort of running down underneath here. You'll have um, a few sort of, uh, what do you call it, like dinners breakfast shops whatever you call them I mean, you get bacon rolls and, and lunch and stuff like that packet of crisps like a news agents that's what i imagine sort of the lower parts of these buildings are sort of like how the hospital nearest to me has um, a, a boots in it or like a chemist not chemist like a news agents in it it's sort of got inside of the hospital so you don't need to travel too far if you wanted to get something Let's put grass on either side of the trees and then put something like um, either a flower or maybe even a tall bush. I hope you guys are still thinking about what, what we're doing underneath the bridge over there. Please let me know because I am pretty stumped and apart from car park and um, what was the other thing I the creative idea I thought of? I can't even remember now. <laughs> There's two things. Uh, trees, that's it. Car park and line of trees. How did I forget that? I'm doing trees right now. Um, yeah, apart from those two, I don't really know. You know what? I'm going to go with actually just red tulips. On both sides. Or maybe red tulips. And then white tulips. And then red tulip. And then white tulip. Yes. Very upmarket part of the city, isn't it? This It's got to be really nice. And now I think we do white here as well. I don't think I alternate them on this side as opposed to the other side. So they stay red and white on both trees as they go down. Red. White. Red. Okay. Very cool. It's definitely lifted the spirits up under the hair a little bit. It's not that boring grass anymore. I do feel like there's still something though. Like it's all right. Maybe maybe it's because we've got grass here in a vision. If like if we go here, so we can't see the grass. Still, there's still something, isn't there? There's something not right. Something on the floor isn't right. I think I need to put like a path down the middle. So we do something like if we started right on the edge of here. I go something like. there yeah there and this this might even get extended all the way down there i don't know yet to there set stone okay so that really helps and then what we do is we go from there to here we replace one 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 two with quartz 
And I think that's probably helped us a little bit, right? Just a little bit more of a road cycle path almost sort of thing. Going down here. It feels a lot better. It feels a lot better down here. Yeah, this might extend all the way down. That could be quite nice. But yeah, it's definitely helped a lot. It's tidied up this area. It's tied it into the rest of the city. That's all I've got time for though this episode, guys. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you're not, then feel free to subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below about your ideas. 